Humanoid robots are just now approaching the functionality that science fiction fans have been reading and watching for decades. Though we are not yet at the point where robots can successfully pass for people, researchers and private investors have made great progress overcoming the creepy factor. Let's look at some of the very attractive female humanoids. Number 6. Asuna Designed by Hiroshi Ishiguro in collaboration with the team at Tokyo-based A-Lab, Asuna is an android first unveiled at the 2015 Wonder Festival Winter in Chiba, Japan. Up close, she looks like an adorable 15-year-old girl, about 155 centimeters in height and weighing approximately 43 kg. In fact, this hyper-real robot is so incredibly human-like that even the reporter covering the convention got confused, mistaking it for one of the idols from the AKB48 band. People often look at humanoid robots and think, that's creepy. However, Asuna is so human-like that you might find yourself thinking she's cute instead. Surely you've probably seen pictures of human-like robots before, but the true charm behind this android lies in her movements. You'd be blown away by the sheer naturalness of Asuna's mannerisms, from the way she blinks and squeezes her eyes shut to the shape her mouth makes as if she were about to yawn, Asuna is truly on a different level from other androids. Asuna also boasts flawless skin as well as intricate facial features, including ears that are soft and squishy like real human ears. Number 5. Actroid One of the earliest androids created by the scientists at Osaka University, Actroid made her first appearance at the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo way back in 2003. The robot, which looks like a young Japanese woman, is regarded as a pioneering example of a fembot or gynoid. As pointed out by the developers, its skin is fashioned out of silicone, which is what lends it its remarkable lifelike appearance. Coming to its capabilities, Atroid can blink, shift in its seat, move its eyes and head, and even replicate the motions associated with breathing. All of these movements are controlled by a specially designed pneumatic system featuring servo motors that are powered by compressed air. Artificial intelligence software enables it to react to and avoid sudden motions like a slap. The AI ensures that the robot reacts differently to different kinds of touches, such as a gentle caress and a nudge. The Actroid is also engineered to mimic human movements and expressions in real time and was originally developed to serve as a receptionist, smart and attractive all at the same time. Number 4. Nadine Nadine is one of the most realistic female humanoid social robot around the world and she looks and act incredibly lifelike, being modeled on Prof. Nadia Manganat Thalman. This robot has a realistic human appearance and a natural skin and hair. She has also very realistic hands. Nadine is a socially intelligent robot who is friendly, greets you back, makes eye contact and remembers all the nice chats you had with her. She is able to answer questions in several languages, show emotions both in her gestures and in her face depending on the content of the interaction with the user. Nadine can recognize people she has previously met and engage in flowing conversation. Nadine is also fitted with a personality, meaning her mood can sour depending on what you say to her. Nadine has a total of 27 degrees of freedom for facial expressions and upper body movements. She can recognize anybody she has met and remembers facts and events related to each person. Nadine is the ideal companion when nobody is there. She can assist people with special needs, read stories, show images, put on Skype sessions, send emails, and communicate with the family. She is part of the human assistive new technology, which is badly needed as society cannot afford a full-time social worker for each person with special needs. She can play the role of a personal private coach, always available when nobody is there. At the beginning, Nadine started working as a receptionist at Nanyang Technological University, and thus, her circle of friends was limited to students, staff, and visitors at NTU's Institute of Media Innovation. As a continuation, Nadine made her first public appearance as a key highlight at the Art Science Museum in Singapore during the exhibition Human Plus, The Future of Our Species that was held from May to October 2017. There, she interacted with more than 100,000 visitors and impressed them all with both her intelligence and attractiveness. Number 3. Yunko Chihira Toshiba created a very realistic-looking android named Yunko Chihira to work in a new tourist information center in Japan. The bot can speak Japanese, Chinese, and English and made her debut in Aqua City Odaiba, a shopping center on Tokyo's waterfront. Yunko Chihira would greet visitors as they walk in and later, the android also provided tourists with information on events occurring in the area. Not only is Yunko Chihira designed to look like a human, but was given qualities to make it more realistic. 
Yunko Shihira is the successor to another Toshiba android named Aiko Shihira, who served as a receptionist in a department store in Japan in April. Aiki Shihira was created using technology developed by Hiroshi Ishiguro, a robotics researcher at Osaka University in Suita, Japan. Additionally, Yunko Shihira can speak one more language than its predecessor, Chinese. Number 2. Viomitra Viomitra, the humanoid designed and developed by the Indian Space Research Organization to fly aboard unmanned test missions ahead of the Ganganyaan human spaceflight mission, is undergoing pre-flight ground tests at the ISRO Inertial Systems Unit here. Over the past few months, IISU has successfully integrated it with a computer brain which enables it to read control panels aboard the unmanned test flights and communicate with the ISRO ground stations. ISRO and IISU were in the news when they unveiled Viomitra, the female robot astronaut, in 2020. Viomitra is a half-humanoid lacking lower limbs. IISU was responsible for the design, development, and integration of the robot, while sister ISRO center Vikram Sarabhai Space Center at Thumba here developed its fingers. The AI-enabled robot is designed to fly aboard a rocket with standing vibrations and shock during the flight. It has been designed to resemble a human with facial expressions and speech and sight capabilities. It has a certain level of intelligence. Viomitra is intended to operate and read the display panels and communicate back using its own voice. Viomitra will fly aboard the first unmanned test flight ahead of the crewed Ganganyan flight expected in 2024. An attractive, super-intelligent female humanoid robot, how cool is that? Number 1. Harmony The Westworld concept of lifelike love-making robots has got one step closer. This happened when the San Marcos company unveiled Harmony, an anatomically correct love-making doll with a patented animatronic talking head with a programmable personality and memory. The creator, Matt McMullen, sees Harmony more as a comforting conversation companion like Apple Siri, albeit one capable of having sensual conversations and telling naughty jokes. The worst thing she can possibly do to you is insult you, he said, pointing out that Harmony's arms and legs are jointed and fully posable, but they don't operate independently, at least not yet. McMullen added that the whole idea of a robot capable of lovemaking is very contemporary, now and edgy, but Harmony is a sophisticated piece of machinery, and her primary design is to carry on conversations. There's still a bit of shake around the mouth when Harmony speaks, and a slight metallic echoing tone to her voice, but Harmony, priced at $12,620, is widely considered the most scientifically advanced human-style robot in the world. Harmony's vocabulary is virtually endless, but she's programmed to end any conversation that involves murder or violence. So far, several thousand Harmony AI apps have been purchased worldwide, and McMullen said some users are talking to their avatars up to 10 hours a day. That's all for today, folks. See you another time.